Good morning. Just waking up in the Sonoran Desert in southern Arizona. Uh, I've never really stayed in a desert before, so I'm excited to go out and uh, check out these morning desert views. Let's go. Come on, Boone. Ooh, better grab my sunglasses for this. Wow. It's beautiful out here. Check this out. Man, I just love it here. It's like 8 a.m., it's in the 40s. High is probably in like the mid 60s today, and the sunshine is just so nice and bright and makes everything feel a heck of a lot warmer. I'm uh, very easily getting used to this new climate that I'm gonna be enjoying for the next couple of months. This is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are so awesome. I cannot get enough of these big cool cactuses. I still didn't Google what their name is. I really should. But they're freaking sweet. All right, so I'm leaving the Sonoran Desert. This place has been super cool, and that's why I've lingered around here until almost noon. I'm out here in a t-shirt. The sun is incredible, but now I'm headed for my final destination, which is Huma. Uh, one of the campsites that I've been targeting outside of there is called Mitri Lake, and I'm gonna go check that campsite out now and see what it's all about. It looks really pretty. It's only about a two hour drive or so, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. I forgot about this whenever I passed it yesterday. 13 feet, 11 inch clearance. I, uh, I think I could fit under there. Uh, I added a new cell antenna and the weather machine antenna and that brought me up to just around that height. I tend to say that I'm 13 feet, uh, 14 inches, which is the Western maximum or the Eastern maximum, but uh, I'm not gonna chance it. I used Google Earth and looked at the uh, exit to the east if I were to make a right here and uh, it has a bridge that goes over uh, the interstate instead of under with a tunnel. So I'm gonna make a right, travel a couple extra miles to the east, and then backtrack to the west, just so I don't have to go under this uh, little underpass and chance knocking off my uh, expensive cell phone antenna. <laughs> I need that thing, man. All right, let's go. Pulled off the interstate, stopped for a quick walk around. About halfway there.
still cruising down I-8, but like, I could see all of town, and, or a lot of it anyway, and so far, most of it is RV parks. It's crazy how much of an RV destination this is. Resort after resort, park after park, uh, on each side of the interstate. I've seen thousands of RVs so far. Let's, uh, let's hope it's not as busy where I go to camp tonight. <laughs> I'm thinking it might not be. Uh, you know, because I like to dry camp in places where there are no hookups or anything like that. Uh, you just kind of set up camp. A lot of snowbirds want to have uh, hookups, electricity, full running water, all that stuff. You know, or unlimited running water anyway. Um, you know, each their own. I'm sure I'll see a lot of people out camping too. So uh, hopefully I can at least find myself a pretty decent spot out there. But this place looks incredible. All right, so I've made it to downtown Yuma, and now I'm at another RV dump station. Because this time, the next campsite that I'm headed to, I plan on being at for the full two weeks. And I want to make sure that my tanks are totally empty, so that way I uh, don't run out of water or anything like that. So I'm going to dump one more time, and then head for camp. All right, now that I stopped at this dump station, uh, emptied out all my water, got uh, a little bit more fresh water just to top off and towards my campsite that I got picked out, hoping I can find some space up at Mitri Lake. Uh, looks like a really pretty spot. It's like 25 minutes north of Yuma, so I'm gonna head up there now. Arizona continues to impress. I made it to my camp at Mitchell Lake, and as you can see right there, I've got my own lakefront access campsite. This is crazy. There's even a little like land bridge dock type thing that you can walk out on to go fishing and stuff like that if you wanted to. Uh, it looks a little bit muddy. I don't know if I can actually walk out there, but the views are incredible. Like I'm 20 feet from the water, there's ducks swimming by, there's palm trees out there. Uh, this is awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better spot to land for the next two weeks while I go and check out the city of Yuma. Looks like a really cool place. Looks like a lot of farming going on in there. Uh, I saw tons of lettuce fields as I was driving through and RV stuff as far as the eye can see. So this is clearly a popular place to come RVing. I mean, I've passed tons of RVs on my way in here. I see tons of them camped all around the lake. This is just a really cool, apparently very popular spot. And I think I'm pretty lucky that I got some lakefront access for the next two weeks. So really looking forward to staying here. All right, so my little pier land bridge thing is totally too muddy to walk on right now, but that's okay. I mean, I really can't complain with this view. <laughs> Man, yeah, it's such a cool place. Really loving this so far. Really excited to get to know the town of Yuma, this whole area. There are a number of free campsites that I can uh, camp at around this place. You know, uh, Mitri Lake is just one of the places that I plan on uh, frequenting throughout the winter. So yeah, I'm gonna start checking all those out. Uh, tomorrow and the next day I'm gonna go into town, check things out there, start looking for work around the area, getting to know my new home for the next three to four months. So heck, this has been a really awesome day, a really great journey, making my way over to the uh, far southwestern corner of Arizona. 
and I've had fun taking y'all with me. So thanks for watching today. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you have a great night. See you, everybody.